what's going on with India and space. In August 2023, India had etched its name in the annals of space exploration by successfully executing a soft landing on the lunar south pole. That was India's Chandrayaan-3, which was the lunar space exploration mission under the Indian Space Research Organization. That's India's Chandrayaan-3, India's lunar exploration mission under ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan program. It consists of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. It's currently doing science stuff on the moon. And what's the next place for India to explore? Was that place the sun? India has a space-based solar observatory mission called Aditya L1. In September 2023, Aditya L1 was launched from a spaceport in Sriharikota, which is in Andhra Pradesh. A spaceport is a launch facility for a spacecraft. This mission is about understanding the enigmatic celestial body that sustains life on Earth. There's something called a corona that belongs to the sun. It has nothing to do with the virus and nothing to do with the beer. The sun's corona is said to be the outermost layer of its atmosphere. It is said to appear as a glowing halo during a solar eclipse. This corona is said to be extremely hot, with temperatures soaring to about 1.1 million degrees Celsius. This intense heat stands in stark contrast to the sun's relatively cooler surface, which is around 5,600 degrees Celsius, which is quite hot on its own. The mystery of this significant temperature differential has eluded scientists for years. So, what are the central objectives of India's solar mission? One primary aim is to continuously observe the sun for 24 hours. This would be made possible by Aditya L1. The instruments of Aditya L1 could play different roles. Something called SUIT would be an imager to capture continuous images of the sun. Another instrument called VELC would allow ISRO scientists to closely monitor the corona and correlate changes with the events on the sun's surface. There's something called solar storms, which are like big bursts of energy and particles that come from the sun. It can sometimes affect things on Earth, like tech and communications, radio, GPS, and even electricity. This mission would help experts understand the kind of particles coming from the surface of the sun. So maybe the Aditya L1 mission extends beyond pure scientific curiosity. It's also about safeguarding the tech upon which the modern world relies. Its observations and data may not just be about deepening knowledge of the sun, but also about growing how we can predict and mitigate the impact of solar storms on Earth. What is the future of India in space?